Hey, yeah, people. Uh, I don't really know what I'm recording right now. Although, if you clicked on it, you know what you're buying into. I have no idea what I'm buying into, though. Let's, let's start Donald Trump dating sim. Let's see if Donald Trump will be the best waifu. Uh, there will be a link to this in the description if you want to try it yourself. 2016, another year of political babble. All these people gathered around, looking at that beautiful American flag. And we get the back right corner. It's lovely. Except for this woman, she's just not paying attention. Don't ask me why I'm here. Absolutely. But somehow, some way, I ended up sitting in the front seat in a crowd of one of our most popular presidential candidate 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 campaigns. Shouldn't it just be presidential candidate? I mean, I guess you are at the campaign. Well, that I am also tired. America. Well, I might as well he hear what he has to say. And these people want to be heard as well. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to count them. Yes, that's right. I'm at one of Donald Trump's campaign speeches. I would try to do a Donald Trump impression, but I kind of have never practiced that, so let's just go with this voice. I'm a very smart guy. Went to the best college. I had good marks. I was a very smart guy. Good student. All that stuff. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. The crowd claps and applause. Applause. And applause. And... That's wrong. That I know is wrong. They uh, they should applaud, not applause. As Donald Trump pauses in his speech. Here's your sound effect. And here's our sound effect. Suddenly, Donald Trump stops to scan the crowd. And his eyes catches mine. His eyes catches my. Okay, uh... This isn't the best grammatically put together piece. But I mean, there is there's a little nice catchy tune in the background, and there are images. Do you see those eyes? We're in the back right corner, right? He, they're catching ours. Oh no. Is he coming over here? Is Senpai coming over here? Trump Senpai? Oh no. I'm a little scared. <laughs> what's, that, what's that posture? Just a fist. He's getting his cuffs ready. Hello! Uh... Tell him you're Mexican or ask him a question. I'm sorry, Trump. I have to let you know before we go any further with our relationship. <laughs> Music stopped. You're from Mexico? Uh, yeah? I love Mexico! They're all great, hard-working people. I love the Mexican people. I love their spirit. But the ones we're getting is like a little tough situation. That's kind of off. I get the meaning, but that's that's off. And also, kudos to the little pasted, <laughs> stereotypical Mexican, you know, outfit on Trump. Uh... More people are in this country right now, legally, than ever before. What a- <laughs> that animation is beautiful. What I'm going to do is build a wall on the Mexican and U.S. border. I will build a better wall, and I will build it for cheaper, and Mexico will pay. I love Mex- <laughs> I love Mexico. I would shake something right now, but I- Oh, no, 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 that, that's out. Here you go, that's the closest I could get. An empty water bottle. I love Mexico. Uh, okay. You got the ending, Great Wall of America. Mexico's on the other side. It's kind of hard to see. Great Wall of China? China. 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 No, no. It's Great Wall of America. Uh, 
I think that was a great ending, right? I mean, look, it's beautiful. We made the Mexicans pay, apparently, and he built it for cheaper. He loves Mexicans, but he just wants to keep them out, right? Uh, I'd say that's very logical, right? Right? I'm questioning why I'm playing this. Luckily, it seems like I get to replay, and there's probably just going to be one more route. Alright, uh, I'm going to skip through this real quick. We don't need to hear that again. Yep. Well, let's ask him a question now. What should I ask? Trump Senpai. Oh, we actually get more questions. John McCain, Senator Lindsey Graham's number. Ooh. Let's go just off the top. I never liked him as much after that because I don't like losers. After what? I mean, I kind of keep up with politics, but I'm not really here to talk politics. I'm here to talk the celebrity that is Donald Trump in a visual novel about dating Donald Trump. What am I doing with my life? I'm not sure. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that were in capture. Okay. When he doesn't like things, he shakes. <laughs> All right. That I'm not editing that in, by the way. It's just uh, part of the visual novel. Just stop. You're stupid. It's making my brain cry. Right. Now I'm just gonna go now. Just now, alright? You got the ending. Disappointed McCain. Very... You know, for a disappointed McCain, he's, kind of, he's got a little sort of upward lip. I guess it's the eyebrows that make him disappointed. So let's replay. I'm pretty sure there's probably one more ending. Ask him a question. Let's skip again, and let's ask for Senator Lindsey Graham's number. Oh, this guy's number is... Oh, that's a guy. Okay. Congratulations! Bonus content unlocked! I think we unlock the true ending, guys. We went in the perfect order, obviously, so we get the true ending. Lock bonus images on how to destroy your cell phone by Senator Lindsey Graham. How to destroy your cell phone with... Was this a viral video or something that I missed? Or what? With the butcher knife. That's a flip phone, I guess. It's not that bad. The blender. With a golf club. I, I love the faces here. Is it, I'm pretty sure this is also advertising in some form. Verizon, Samsung, which I'm not sponsored by. That would be that would be really nice, you know. A little, a little money from a hobby, but that's not happening. With a bat. It's a it's a weird bat. I'm pretty sure that's not necessarily a bat. Uh, wouldn't it be fun, though, if the film was filled with candy and he broke it and you just got a... You got a love of Mexicans showing up in the game again. With fire. With baking. <laughs> Smells good. What's cooking? And finally is demonstrated by Senator Lindsey Graham himself. Throw it off the building. <laughs> Cackles evilly. <laughs> I guess. You got the ending. How to destroy your cell phone tutorial by Lindsey Graham. I'm sorry. I don't know what I just played. But I just wanted to get some content up and I found this on the internet. On the bright side, I found a website where this was. That's where I might be able to find more things like this for one-offs every now and then if you don't mind. Uh, I'll probably be uploading Trope Talk soon after this, well, not this day or anything, but within the week, and then after that I'll be working on the next episode of Katawa Shoujo, or I might just flip that order and do Katawa Shoujo, then Trope Talk. Uh, and regardless, I hope you watch, but for now, bye bye I also inverted that order, bye bye for now is what I should say. I'm just kind of taken aback by this man's beautiful tutorial on how to destroy a cell phone. Which I probably could have seen coming if I knew about this video. But that's all for now. I'm still using Google 2 as my for now. Sorry about that.